I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. This it came with a few toys like a happy meal. Hey guys, welcome back to the Truth Pages. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but guys, I'm back. And as many of you know, I did a full-length documentary on Kanye West and these Sunday services that he's doing. And as of late, there have been a lot of developments concerning this Sunday service thing that Kanye West is having. More celebrities are getting behind it. The mainstream media is getting behind it. And personally, I believe that this is part of the great deception that Jesus Christ warned us about in the end times. And my purpose with this video is to expand on my last video and point you guys to the truth. Because I do not believe that this is a move by God. I do believe that this is setting us up for the one world religion, the new age antichrist religion that will turn many from God. So in this video, I'm going to expose that today, and I'm just going to show you guys that you need to stop putting your trust in these celebrities because they're going to lead you astray. And I feel like this situation is the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a clip of the actual service, and I'm going to break down what you're seeing. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. I've seen him work miracles in my life. Work miracles in our life. You know, the devil presents so many flashy, shiny objects. I've seen everything that the devil could have showed you via TV, videos, car dealerships, jewelry, houses. And I tell you, nothing beats God. Nothing, nothing, and of sound mind. Nothing beats God. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Let's not be concerned with the opinions of men at all. Only the opinion of God. Let's not be concerned with the validation of men at all. Only of God. To hold each other accountable. I know we say, oh, this is the culture. That's the culture. To be radically in service to Christ is the only culture that I want to know about. In the four walls, out of the four walls. So after watching that clip, you might be questioning me as to why 
this is such a bad thing. And what's wrong with him talking about God and about Jesus Christ? We need to look no further than the word of God. And in his book, the Lord mentions that many will use his name and call upon his name and speak his name with their lips, but that their hearts will be far from him. Let's take a look at what the scriptures say about this. Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Matthew chapter 15 verses 8 through 9. These people draw near me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. So if there's anything that we can gather from these scriptures, it's quite simple. There are many who will speak the name of Jesus with their lips, but their hearts will be far from him. And this is why I'm warning people and I'm making this video because I believe that is exactly what's happening. I believe that Kanye West is paving the way for the Antichrist New Age religion. And not only that, but the false prophet, who I believe is the poop. Now, one thing I need to mention is I, I talked about this a little bit in my last Kanye video, but this whole Sunday service thing is promoting the idea of Sunday worship, making it cool and making it trendy while completely glossing over the actual true Sabbath day, which is Saturday. Now, I got a lot of messages from my last Kanye West, Kanye West video and people wanted to know more about the Roman Catholic Church and them changing the Sabbath day. And it is a fact that the Roman Catholic Church has admitted to changing the Sabbath. And this is completely out of line when it comes to the scriptures of the Holy Bible. And we're going to take a quick look at some of this information and we'll go back to the Kanye West piece. But I felt that this is very important to point out because this is also part of the Great Deception and the Mark of the Beast. Let's take a look. Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So the Lord God makes it very clear in his word that we are to observe that day and we are not to work on that day. Makes it very, very clear. And when we look at the scripture, it says he rested on the seventh day of the week, which is not Sunday. It's Saturday. Sunday is the beginning of the week. Saturday is the last day of the week. The world has told you otherwise so they can trick you into not observing God's true Sabbath day and to worshiping sun gods on Sunday. Once again, that's why it's called Sunday. Now, Jesus Christ did rise on a Sunday, but the Bible doesn't tell us to observe that day just because Jesus rose on that day. It tells us to honor the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. Now let's continue. Now, many people come to me and say, why does it matter what day I, I, I observe him? Why does it matter that it's on that specific day, which is Saturday? Well, the answer is very simple. It's one of the Ten Commandments to remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. 
It is the fourth commandment of the Ten Commandments. And you better believe that if it's in the commandments, the Lord our God definitely expects us to take it seriously. He definitely expects us to make it an integral part of our lives and our walk with God. So I need to make it abundantly clear that the fourth commandment that says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy is just as important as all of these other commandments. So we need to definitely pay attention to Saturday as the day of the Sabbath. Let's continue. Now, I've mentioned before how the Catholic Church has admitted to changing the Sabbath. The proof is in this book. It's called The Converts Catechism of Catholic Doctrine. And in this book, they make it abundantly clear that they did change the Sabbath. Let's take a look at what it says. I'm going to show you some excerpts from the book itself. And they basically admit to changing the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what it says. Question which is the Sabbath day. The Roman Catholic Church says Saturday is a Sabbath day. Question, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? And the Catholic Church says we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. So we basically have a record a documented record that the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church specifically, changed the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. Now they have Kanye West promoting the false Sabbath day. Do you see why this is dangerous? Do you see why this is going to lead people astray? It's going to bring their attention away from the true Sabbath which in the commandments says that we have to honor and bring your mind to worshiping sun gods, pagan sun worship. Do you see why what Kanye West is doing is going to lead people astray? Let's continue. So now what we can deduce from the changing of the Sabbath day is that the Roman Catholic Church has added or taken away from biblical scripture. Now, this is a big no-no when it comes to God and his word. We are not allowed to change scripture or add to scripture, but the Roman Catholic Church has done just that. Let's take a look at what the word of God says about this. Deuteronomy chapter four, verse two. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. So the Lord our God tells us very clearly and distinctly that we are not to add from Scripture, take away from Scripture, and that we are to keep his commandments. And if his commandments say that we are to honor the Sabbath day, we must honor the Sabbath day. But the Roman Catholic Church is trying to pull you away from the true Sabbath and worship on Sunday. And that's why I needed to make this video. People do not see the deception. It's going to get to a point where you're going to have to write the scriptures on your heart. Because the devil is going to do everything he can to pervert the scriptures, to twist the scriptures, and to pull you away from God. So many people are praising Kanye for this, but they don't know scripture, so they don't see the deception. Let's continue. Now, getting back to Kanye, I want to show you guys a couple of his tweets that he has tweeted recently. Let's take a look.
Now the Bible is also very clear about being aware of false prophets, false teachers, false Christs. And I think that's exactly what we're looking at. I think Kanye West is a wolf in sheep's clothing and that he could potentially be spreading a false gospel to those who go to attend these Sunday services. Let's see what the Bible says about the false prophets. Matthew 24, 24. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So clearly the Bible warns us about false prophets, false Christ, and false teachers. And the Bible also says even the very elect can be deceived if possible. And I think that is exactly why people are falling for this Kanye Christian thing. Because they don't know the word. They don't understand what the devil has planned. They don't understand the devil's devices for bringing about the one world religion. They don't understand the devil's devices to get the whole world to worship him. The Bible is very clear about false teachers, false prophets, and that's what I think Kanye West is at this point. I have a few more things I'd like to show you before I close out this video that can drive home the fact that Kanye West is not a Christian. First, I'm going to show you his website. Let's take a look. So here we are at the Yeezyanity website, also known as the Church of Yeezus. Let's take a look at what the website says. And this right here is going to should wake you guys up and prove to you once and for all Kanye West and his Christianity is not the Christianity of the true Bible believing Christians. Let's read what they're about says. We are a forward minded group who believes that the one who calls himself Jesus is the highest living human being and he will help to usher in a new age. Okay, let's stop right there. New age. New age. This is a very popular term when it comes to the Illuminati. A new age. This goes back to the new age mysticism, the new age Christianity, the false religion. And the new age is exactly what you might think it is. A belief in a new era, a new age, new age Christianity. New age basically centers around the principle of awakening the God within yourself. Meditation, yoga, opening your chakras, opening your third eye. This is essentially what the Antichrist religion will look like. They have been conditioning people for years to accept the New Age philosophy. And now you have people like Oprah. You have people like Tyler Perry. People like Bishop T. Jakes pushing the New Age Christian religion, which is not Christianity at all. The Bible forbids us from tapping into these spiritual realms. The Bible forbids us from you know, allowing ourselves to be open to communicating with the dead or communicating with the principalities of the darkness of this world. So the new age term is something very, very um, integral that has been implemented into society to usher people into the one world religion, which is the new age. Let's continue. We believe that a new age is beginning where all people will unlock their creative powers, which sounds to me like opening their chakras, opening their third eye, which is very dangerous because it can leave you open to demonic possession. We'll unlock their creative powers and the competitive struggle for money and power will no longer be necessary. We are called Yay Disciples. Our membership is entirely open and non-exclusive. We allow Yay Disciple to be a member of Yeezyanity as well as any other spiritual practice of their choosing, including some of the best ones. 
Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, and Taoism. In fact, we encourage the disciples to explore and consider the tenements or the tenets of any other spiritual ideas they feel attracted to. To see instructions on how to join Christianity, see instructions below. So when we look at this right here, it says to be a member of Yeezyanity as well as any other spiritual practice of their choosing, including some of the best ones, Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, and Taoism. So looking at this part right here, this looks to me like it they're talking about the one world religion, bringing all the religions together. Uh, the Pope Francis's lie that we all serve the same God. This is the one world religion being promoted on Kanye West's Christian, supposedly Christian site, the Church of Jesus. And he's basically encouraging people to go along with the coexist movement, to go along with blending all the religions together. This is how the Antichrist will become worshipped. This is how he will get people to worship him by bringing all the religions together. Do you guys see now why I'm telling you that Kanye West is not a Christian, okay? You can't mix all the religions together and say we all worship the same God and that there are different paths to God. There is only one way to God and that is through Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father but by me. So right here on, on yeah, Kanye West's website, He's promoting not only the New Age here, but of course, the uniting and bringing together of all religions, the one world religion, which itself is the New Age. So that right there should open up your eyes. Now let's click over here where it says, Our Savior. Our Savior. His real name is never to be spoken. He is known to us only as Jesus. He is shown in the modern world the creative potential of a human being, and he serves as a living model for behavior and ethic. So, right now would be a really good time for people to try to tell me that this is about the Jesus Christ of the Bible. This whole website, this whole movement is about Kanye. It's about him wanting to be worshipped. This is his website, y'all. And you're telling me he's a Christian? Come on, guys. You see what, what's right before you. You can see this stuff for yourself. And you want to sit here and get mad at me and say, you don't know his heart. Um, I think this website makes it abundantly clear where his heart is. And if you look at some pictures here. Sunday service it almost seems like it could be a cult when you look at the images here like you see how everyone is dressed with the, the little long look like slave outfits but when you look at this picture here you can see that these people are wearing the same outfit he's wearing this to me looks like it could be a cult it just has all the implications and looking at this picture it's almost indicative that it is a cult look at this they're wearing the same clothes he's wearing and it looks like based on this website and what i've seen kanye west is trying to make himself be worshipped but let's continue to go through the website and see what else they have to say so let's go to the golden rule create for others what you have created for yourself declaration of faith I believe I'm a God this goes back to the Satanist this goes back to the same lie that the snake told Eve to tempt her to eat of the tree of forbidden fruit that you can be like God that you can be God knowing good and evil so this promotes self-worship and Satanist ideologies because the Satanists believe that the God is in you which is a lie we will never be God made in his image but we are not God anyway continuing on I believe Jesus is a God so calling Kanye a God once again the satanic ideologies of you are a God you can become a God if you meditate if you do these religious practices if you 
open yourself up to demonic spirits. Continuing on, I believe in the creative power of man. I believe God wants man to create his image. I believe God wants man to fully express himself. I believe money has become unnecessary. I believe man has the power to create everything he wants and needs. I believe Jesus will lead us into a new age of creativity. There they go again with the new age. This is the new age right here. Now, if you guys know anything about the new age, it is it, it is it has nothing to do with the Bible. Period. Period. I've been on this, site, on this site, and they've already mentioned the New Age three different times. This is the deception people are not seeing. Let's continue. I believe I will help usher in the New Age of creativity. Faith be in Jesus. Faith be in God. Wow. Amen. And then it says right here, to join the Church of Jesus, please take a photo stating, I believe in Jesus and post it on your social media accounts. Wow. If that doesn't convince you that Ye is not Christian, I don't know what else will. All of this stuff that he's putting on his site is in total contradiction to the scriptures of the Bible, period. I don't care how you look at it. This is essentially what people are becoming a part of when you're going there to sunday service you're going there to worship kanye you're not going there to worship god and people are going there for the celebrities anyway they could give a damn about god they're going there for kanye and kim and, and kim kardashian and chance the rapper and dmx and all these other rappers that are going there artists that are going there let's take a look at the golden rule create for others oh yeah we took a look at that already let's see the five pillars all things created must be for the good of all no human beings right to express themselves must never be repressed money is unnecessary except as means of exchange man possesses the power to create everything he wants and needs all human suffering exists to stimulate the creative powers of man yeah none of this lines up with me to what the word of God says. It's all just straight up deception. Do you believe in Jesus? Because I believe in Jesus. Do you believe you are a God? I believe I'm a God. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the new age. There they go again with that same term where you, my brothers and sisters, are the new slaves. The forces of oppression seek to keep you down. They have you running around like mad. Are you getting anywhere? Are you receiving any reward for your labor? No. They only give you crumbs and tease you with their riches. You are a laboratory rat. They put you through marketing experiments. They manipulate your mind, body, and soul. And they will not let you have your God-given right to create. Wow. My brothers and sisters, some of us have had enough of this. My brothers and sisters, Jesus has had enough of this. He is going to help free us from our bonds and usher us once again. The new age term being used again where we will control all our own destinies. The day of tyranny and oppression is near its end. A brighter future is dawning if you open your eyes and look. You are a God. Wow. Guys, I don't think there's much more for me to say here. I think you guys know perfectly well now that this is not about God. This is not about Jesus of the Bible. This is about ushering people into the Antichrist religion while also having the person who's ushering you into it claim that he is God, which is the same lie the devil has been telling since the Garden of Eden. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. I have given you guys the evidence of everything that I've been saying from the beginning, and I hope that this will open up people's eyes, okay? The bottom line is, Yes, the album is called Jesus is King, but it's not about Jesus of the Bible. It's about the New Age Christ consciousness Jesus that is not the Messiah. It is not the Jesus who condemns all sin. It is the Jesus that the people who want to stay in their sins have chosen to give their life to. But it's not the Christ of the Bible. It is a false Christ, a fake Christ. A Christ that will soon come in flesh form as the Antichrist to convince people to worship him. 
So I'm going to close out this video with a small clip of Kim Kardashian talking about the church and the Sunday services. We all know Kim Kardashian is Kanye's wife, and we also know that she is a high-ranking witch. So I'm going to include that at the end of this presentation, but I just wanted to open people's eyes up to show them, stop following these celebrities, okay? They are being put in these places for a reason because the great deception of the Antichrist and the false prophet is soon to come and they need to program people to, to be accepting of it and to go along with it. And that's exactly what the role of Kanye is playing in this whole Sunday service thing. It's not about God. It's not about Jesus of the Bible. It's about the false Messiah, the fake Jesus that the world has embraced because it's not the real Jesus and this fake Jesus is tolerant of all sin. All you gotta do is just love people and this fake Jesus it approves of that. And that is not the Jesus of the Bible, friends. The Jesus of the Bible would condemn all sin. Period, point blank. I thank you guys for watching. This is the Truth Pages. God bless. Um, I want to talk about um, Kanye's Sunday service uh, because he created a church service with music that's turned into these really big weekly events. And we had David Letterman on the show, and I asked him about it, and he raved about it, actually. Um, he came at a really early stage when it yeah. was just inside of a rehearsal studio. Yeah, Kanye started this. Um, I think just to heal himself and made it, it was a really personal thing and it was just friends and family. And he has had an amazing evolution of being born again and being saved by Christ. And he has now um, made it, you know, people always ask, well, what are you worshiping and what is this? It is a Christian service, like a musical ministry. It is... You know, they, they talk about Jesus and God and... Is there a minister sing. there? Sometimes. So if okay. he goes to a different church where he has, they've shown up and mm -hmm. done these surprise little pop-up Sunday services at other churches. So whatever pastor speaks there. Um, and sometimes at the one in Calabasas, he'll have friends that are pastors that are in town get up and speak. But for the most part, it's just a musical ministry. Um, it doesn't, you know, he doesn't have his like 501-3C yet. <laughs> But, um, you know, right. to make it a, an official church, right. but it is um, for God and, and it's a Christian church. I think that was sometimes people are like, well, what is this and right. what, are they, right. what are they doing? But it started off healing for him and now it's become something that he just really wants to share for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's what you do on your show. You share so much of your life. It's season 17 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yes. I've watched it from the beginning. Amazing when you think about 17 seasons, but there was there was a scene on Sunday night that I related to, and I think so many people do, where you have a health scare, and you go and get tested, and that's those few days where you're waiting for the results, and you thought you yeah. might have lupus, which is a yes. very serious Rheumatoid thing. Rheumatoid arthritis, I tested positive for, and wow. lupus, I tested positive for. Really? This on Sunday night, you'll see what the the real diagnosis is, and I've had to unfortunately be on a medication, but it's worked for me. And you'll see what the diagnosis really is. I don't want to give it away. I know that's like such a tease to say that. But it's been such a, a you really get in your head mm -hmm. when you. You think you're dying no matter what. Totally. Mm -hmm. And you start Googling things and the things that you see. Oh, yeah. And you want to be I prepared. I have my Google empty. But yeah. And, but when you have an autoimmune issue, so many other things can come from that. So I've been really learning about autoimmune issues and I've seen an amazing doctor that's really helped me through this. But it was, it's been a struggle and it's been a journey and- Scary. But, but you're scary. okay. I'm okay, um, you know, there'll be issues, things will come and go, but I'm totally okay and I feel good and I'm just living in the now of feeling good now. Hmm. Good. That's nice. good. I had a question about Wyoming because that's where I spent my time, but we already covered that. So I hope this isn't an imprudent question for you, but I yeah. do watch your show. Yeah. And um, I was watching a few weeks ago and Chloe was talking about how she still talks to her dad. Yeah. And mm. I always ask people who have iconic fathers yeah. who have passed, yeah. how do you grieve when the entire world knows who your dad was and wants to be involved because it's been very challenging for me and your dad is extremely famous, always will be. I'm How so do you sorry do it? about, about your you. dad. Um, you know what? We keep his spirit so alive and talking about him with our kids. I have pictures of him. I always mm -hmm. talk 
to my kids about my dad and Kanye's mom and always show them pictures and <clears throat> we, we, we just continue to talk about him on his birthday. We celebrate it. We'll all go to dinner as a family at his favorite restaurant. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I know nice. my, one of my sisters, like, you know, struggles with meeting with mediums, and I know that it might, like, some people agree with that, some people don't. I have had an amazing experience just feeling connected. Um, I've read a book that I absolutely love um, called Embraced by the Light that my dad actually tried to give me in high school. And mm -hmm. I was like, Dad, I'm not reading. It's the weekend. And I would always, <laughs> you know, try to dismiss it. And he was like, it's 100 pages. Please read it. And when he passed away, I was cleaning out my room. And I took the book from my bed. And I finally read it. And I go back to it. And all my sisters go back to it. And I met with the author. And she, it was someone that had passed away during a surgery. She had six kids, loved her life. Um, and then had an amazing experience in heaven. And so, I mean, I believe in heaven, so if you do, I think the book would be amazing for you. I love this book, and it, it made me a, feel really great close book. to my dad. And I like that yeah. you guys talk yeah. about grief on the show. It's, it's really nice. It's not that common, and it's nice. Thank you. You have to come back some yeah. more. It's never really enough time, but it's, it, But you come, and we're happy about that. Yeah. So please feel free. Well, it's always peaceful free. and amazing when I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, so I appreciate that. Yeah. Not always. You're doing such great work. So when I'm here, so I think your father's very proud of you. Of course, it's our thanks to Kim you. Kardashian West. Her new shapewear line, Skims is out now, y'all. New episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians air on Sunday nights on E!